Mayorkas was in New York City today as the Department of Homeland Security launched a new campaign to better protect children online. It is called No to Protect, and its goal is to teach parents the warning signs of online predators, whether it is someone who wants to trick those children or sexually abuse them. Here's how news reporter Sonia Rincon. The new federal campaign is flooding digital platforms today, like Snapchat, which says it fits in with their existing efforts to keep predators away from kids. We employ a series of proactive and reactive technologies and assist law enforcement, tech, law enforcement agencies uh, in their investigations um, to bring abusers to justice. Homeland Security is behind the No to Protect campaign because its agencies investigate these interstate crimes, with trained agents and even a canine named Mojo who can sniff out hidden digital devices like cameras during an investigation. Predators go where kids go. And, you know, in the past it was playgrounds, parks. The new digital environment is where predators like to hang out. It's never too late to start talking about this threat with kids and teens in your life. The campaign and website offer tips to kids and parents who might be a little intimidated by their kids' technology. You don't need to be an IT professional to understand there are basic preventative strategies um, like turning off your geolocation, uh, turning on the privacy settings. The Homeland Security Secretary says prevention is key. Last year, the reports of suspected online exploitation of kids to the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children increased to 36 million. The volume of incoming reports has increased more than 20 percent over the past three years. The number of urgent, imminent reports involving a child at risk of imminent harm has grown by more than 140 percent over that same time frame. The announcement made here in New York because of the campaign's corporate and nonprofit partners who are helping to promote it with tips like how to spot fake profiles and how to keep your settings as private as possible.